Okay, so let me look at this for a second and see what is going on. You do have a couple major arcana cards popping up, the moon, strength, temperance. And so with the strength and the moon right there, it's really, and temperance, it's kind of speaking of um, finding your balance within how you live your life and how you feel about it, okay? And and I feel pretty confident about it, seeing as we have the Hierophant um, kind of overarching the whole entire situation here but there's some kind of dis-ease happening because with the ten of pentacles in reverse you're just not feeling content with your with your surroundings like you're feeling confident with the people who are in it but you don't like the environment it's like the environment is off five of staffs could be that you could be fighting with people at work you could be fighting with um you know like your neighbor i actually get like the sense of like you're fighting with like not somebody in your close circle but somebody who um just makes your environment feel uncomfortable so it could be a loud neighbor or maybe you are the loud neighbor i don't know but it's uh you know a conflict happening in your environment and, and so it's it's changing how you feel and it's changing your mood it's like you constantly have to deal with this stupid situation of you know, the kids next door smoking too much, whatever, you know, and it stinks up your plate. You know, I, like that's what I get the sense of. And so it's like you're really thinking of, you know what, I think it's time for me to change, to shift something. And so the moon and the strength card, it's like, well, you, you got to make that, you got to make that happen. And how are you going to make that happen? Because the ace of pentacles is saying like, maybe your lease isn't that, maybe it's just not time to move. Maybe it's a bad time. It's winter here in the States. Holidays are coming up. You got a lot going on. You have a lot of people to take care of and you, you love it because you love, you know, your friends and family. You're feeling really great about that. But it's like, gosh darn, right? You you want to shift um, your home. You want to shift um, who's around it, not necessarily who's in it. And so this, yeah, I keep getting this feeling, especially with the eight of staffs. It's like ace of staffs. I'm sorry, not eight. The ace of staffs is like, you're ready. You are ready to move on. You're ready to start a new um, job, a new creative ende endeavor, like you have a hunch about something and you want to do it, but it's like you just don't have the environment to make that happen. And so the Two of Pentacles is also kind of talking about that kind of balance too, of the balance. And you might have a really strong Cancer in your life right now or a Leo popping up. And I get that from the Moon and Strength card. Um, and, and I mean, temperance too, a Sagittarius, a Sagittarius energy, but more so with Sagittarius, like I get the sense with, with my guides are saying in the time of Sagittarius, you're going to find your balance. So just hold on just a little bit longer. Sagittarius is coming. The, the season of Sagittarius is, you know, um, mid November to mid December. So you're going to find that balance within yourself and with your, your job and your work and your surroundings. Seven of Pentacles is don't give up. Even though it seems a little uncomfortable, it feels a little um, stress stressful even, you know, fighting with the neighbor who has a yippie dog or your the cubicle neighbor who staples too loudly, something like that. Um, you know, just hold on, have some patience. And, you know, this... This could actually be the person you're fighting with, the King of Staffs. And so I want you to be careful with, with this person because King of Staffs is, is a fire sign. So that's going to be a Leo, most likely. It's most likely going to be a Leo. Uh, Leo, uh, Aries, Sagittarius. But it's interesting that we have strength and temperance in the upright. So that's a Leo and that's a Sagittarius. So And it could actually be an Aries. But since they're in the reverse, like they have no problem like going toe to toe with you and pushing you over and playing dirty, okay, and physically dirty. So they could try to take, you know, something from your office or they could yell in your face, even though they, they don't have the grounds to do so. But it, it could be um, a pretty heated physical, you know, interference that happens between the two of you. 
So just be careful with this king of staffs. Like they're one of the people who, I mean, the nice thing about it is they don't, they're not passive aggressive and they're not going to, you know, necessarily be very sneaky and do undermine you in situations that you, you know, like you, you can't figure out who would do that to you. Like the king of staffs, when they're mad at you and they're in their, and they're not in their highest energy, you know it, you know it, they let you know. So they could, you know, yell, yell at you. They could yell obscenities. They could, you know, slice the tires in your car. They're the, that's what the king of staff, that's that kind of person. So you'll know, you'll know that they're upset. But, um, you know, remember, once again, they're not working in their highest. And so they don't see you clearly. They don't see the, the situation clearly. It's heated. It's emotional based for them. So it's not realistic. Remember that. But yeah, I, I'm happy about this ace of staff showing up for you, Taurus, having this, this newness, a new beginning, something that you really love and are entertained by. And you have a lot of positive shifts ha happening with the hair of font, strength, temperance, all, and the moon upright. The moon, um, you know, just be careful with the moon because it's like your emotions can go in and out quickly. And it also can create a fog and uh, uh, like a sense of a dream world, you know, taking you out of reality and putting you into a world of your own. So be careful about that. Always make sure that you have a tether to to the earth <laughs> okay so let's call in mother moon with the mother wisdom deck and i'm really happy to call in the mother wisdom deck just because the moon sh showed up for you Do this one mountain presence okay let's see here Children live like the Buddha. For them, the present moment is only the moment. They embrace what life offers breath by breath, one moment. A child will be awash in tears, and the next chasing a butterfly. With each experience of the present, we too have the opportunity to be more fully alive. Where are you in the here and now? Are you worrying about a note that came home from your son's teacher? Have you escaped into a fantasy about another kind of life? If so, mountain asks that you return home to presence. Presence gives us a much needed still point, shifting seasons and fleeting lives, circle mountains in immovable mass. Her sure center serves as a world axis connecting the earthly plane to the heavenly realm. Around the world, mountains inspire worship and demand mindfulness. When you draw this card, let presence become your practice. The ascent of mountain steep slopes serves as a walking meditation. If you are not present, you will slip and fall. If you fixate on conquering the peak, you will miss the flowers along the trail. Cultivating an awareness of each step allow anxiety to drift away. By the time you reach the top, a rarefied silence will quell any lingering agitation. Poised between heaven and earth, this is the best place to fall in love with presence, your own divine beingness that exists only in the now. So yeah, that, that makes sense with temperance and the two of pentacles showing up, is finding that balance, finding that presence. The moon also speaks of emotion too, speaks of acknowledging the emotion of situations and then letting it go, not holding on to it. Uh, you know, the moon cycle goes through all of the zodiac within one month, you know, so make sure that you are kind of going through that too, of going through Aries, going through Taurus, going through Gemini and letting it go as it passes. All right. So this, I'm, I'm, this is so good. The gift being in the center is, I'm very happy that you have that. But I'm not going to start there. I'm actually going to start with these two people here. Okay. So we have a queen of pentacles popping up in relationship. So pentacles is an earth sign. So, I mean, like you, Taurus. So it could be you, but it could also be uh, a Capricorn or a Virgo. And they're coming in. And this, 
like I'm going to relate everything to the gift in a way that their presence is needed. I'm needed as a pre- as a present to you in a way to teach you a lesson, to be there for you, to to help, to guide you. The Queen of Pentacles wants to create a space for you that is healthy, that is warm, that you can thrive and be nurtured in. So this person, I really feel like if it's romantic, man, I'm so glad that you have them because they're going to really hold space and unconditionally love you and make your space beautiful. And I know that that you had been having some trials and tribulations at the beginning of the month, like not feeling comfortable in your environment, and they want to make it comfortable for you. We also have the Page of Wands popping up in abundance, and so this is a fire sign, Aries, uh, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And having a page energy is like they're going to spark, they're going to spark that wand, they're going to spark that, that want to create abundance. And we did have the Ace of Wands pop up in the last reading in November, and so that, that still affects you now, because we're still in November. Remember, this is a checkup. So the Page of Wands, I feel like, kind of helps you spark that ace, spark that energy, spark that, ignite that, that passion and fire to create. And uh, it could have already been there, but you just needed that little push, that nudge to really go for it. And so this young energy is coming in to do that. Now, it, I feel like it could could be really fleeting. Like this page of wands energy has a feeling of like somebody saying, well, I really like your drawing. I wish I could do that. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I need to draw more. You know, it's like that, just like that little push that you need, that nudge, the gift, the gift of, of a nudge. Now, here's the thing, is we have two cards here. We have the Seven of Swords, and then we also have the Five of Chalices. And this is going to also be a gift, but it's going to be a gift and a lesson. Seven of Swords in work, I feel like somebody definitely is going to be trying to take some of your work, going to be trying to take credit for something that you have done. And it's going to be, in, in some regards, quite devastating to you because I feel like you trusted them and you put a lot of work into what you've done. And then they're trying to take it from you and they're trying to call it their own. And so that is going to be um, difficult for you to to digest. But no, know that this, in a way, and in some regards, and you may not feel it right now, is also a gift because this person needed to be cut out of your life. This situation needed to happen so you actually saw the, their true colors. And and so the Seven of Swords with this gift is, um, I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. It's going to be uncomfortable. It could be a challenge when it happens. But having the gift there, you will know who it is right away. You will know who did it right away and you will be able to deal with that situation instead of have it kind of linger and have it be in the unknown of like who did this to you how did this happen you know you will know right away and you will be able to conquer it okay now the thing is is even though this happens you're going to have those emotions of why did this happen to me what i could have done with that if they didn't ruin it for me i feel I feel like for you tourists are going to have that, that, that those moments of gosh darn, it would be so different if somebody who hadn't stolen my work from me or stolen something from me. And that's okay to feel Taurus. It really is, but you have to let it go and understand that, you know, you needed this to happen for greater things to happen in the future. And I know it sounds cliche when people say that, but this is the truth. Like it is truly a gift. This would not pop up without it being needed and for it to really uh, drive you to success. So knowing that will help you, help you handle this loss, this this uh, feeling of betrayment, okay? And you still have wonderful people popping up in, in your lives to kind of support you. So let's call on the angels. Let's pull from the angel deck just for some added guidance. Cancel, clear, delete. Use only positive words and thoughts as they are rapidly manifesting into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. That's also why that's part of the gift, to tell you the truth. It's like even though these situations are not ideal with the Seven of Swords of Stealing and Five of Chalices regret in some regards, shift your your framing of the situation. Shift how you actually 
um, digest it and take it in instead of being like, why did this happen to me? This is so bad. This ruins my life. Shift that framework of, of what's going on and go, okay, this is a lesson I needed to learn. I don't need to understand why it happened to me because I will take what I have learned and move forward. It is truly a blessing, even though it is challenging. You know, shift it, shift it, cancel, clear, delete, delete that negative aspect of it and only move forward with the positive. Accept the negative sides, accept the challenging sides, and then move forward. 